take two. God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your word. God, I thank you for the take in it. I'm getting the take from it. I'm going to take out all of it. Get take and take it and take out from it. God, I'm like, I'm getting eaten and take out from it. Teach us how to eat in and take out from your word. God, teach us how to eat in at the table. We have prepared a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Our enemies on Jonathan Street. They don't like me because I had the word down there. But I got enemies on Potomac Street. They don't like me because I had the word up here. You ain't going to stop what God is doing. Hallelujah. I don't have much to stand on, but I stand on the word. You ain't going to take that from me. Huh? Hallelujah. You can't quiet me. God told me, Jimmy, you need to practice volume control. That's what it is. It's not that they want you to shut up. Hallelujah. It's what they want you to do is practice volume control. Because you go from zero to 75,000. Look at In a second. If a car did that in the street, I don't care who was standing around. People would not like it because of the, the, the fuel and gas and emissions that would be used will automatically go into the atmosphere and the environment. God, you better say this thing because I don't know nothing about cars, the fuel and everything like that, the smoke that will come from it, the pollution and the, the even the velocity that the car was going at, the change is acceleration. Acceleration is the, the, the rate of change in the velocity of a particular uh, object, right? So they wouldn't like not only your velocity, but they don't like your acceleration. They're like, how fast you are changing, huh? Just because you got the word in you like that, everybody ain't prepared for it. So you scare them and you shake them when you speak like that. But I got the like that in me because I'm like that daddy made me. I'm like that father. I'm like that father gave me a like that daddy just like that. You can't silence me. Silence is a big golden. But I ain't golden when it comes to the word. I said, silence. My friend told me, Jamie. Silence is golden. She told me that when I was 14 years old, we was in high school together. Naughty, I think it was Naughty Griffiths. I thought um, somebody else, I think it was Naughty Griffiths. Naughty said, Jamie, silence is golden. I said, okay. She said, be gold. And from that point forward, I actually tried to be gold. I said, try to be gold. Because I wanted to be golden, just like that. And I said, if I'm gold, and I'm going to become golden, people will value me and esteem me and rate me higher on a scale. They want to be with me and be, here it is, like me. That's what's really going on. You don't identify with gold because you want people to want you. You identify with gold because you want people to want your value. And what happens when people come after your value, they stalk you. And they stalk you. What they do, they do. They will kill you. Hallelujah. People on Jonathan Street were trying to kill me and they told me. And I told people around me and they just kind of looked at me. I said, this ain't no, this ain't no mainline situation. Right now that Jesus is on the main line. I tried to make it a mainline situation. I tried to come in another house. I tried to make it a mainline situation. I got a phone with Pastor Hadidjians one day. He said, Jamie, sometimes you got to call the cops. Sometimes you got to stop babying people and say, no, understand what they're doing when they pull out weapons on you. Somebody got to. Dial 911. Just like that. He said, sometimes you got to call the cops. Right? Because it's a different authority that they're living by. Our security is in God. My security is in God, not theirs. Right? But my, my identity is in Jesus Christ. My authority is in Holy Spirit. They don't have a reigning authority that guides them inside of them. Right? So this is what God is giving me now. The reason why I had to call the cops is because the cops is the earthly authority. That enforces the rules when you don't have the Holy Spirit. You don't have no common sense to know what you are supposed to do. Holy, Holy Spirit is not in you to guide you. You're going to convict and convert sinners. That's his job, right? He will guide you into all truth, right? Guide you into all truth, but you're a liar and you like it. The so Holy Spirit ain't there. He hasn't left you or he was never there. And so what I must do, what I must do, what I must do, because I don't speak your language of, of, of sin and sexuality and stealing and lies. What I must do since your eyes are disguised by the things that you uh, deal with. What I must do 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 It's called God. 911 
911. Oh, I got somebody breaking in on me. 911. Hey, people keep running into my door. Bam, 911. But you gotta come out of the way. Number one, for them to hit my door that hard, they must either be doing it on purpose or they must be blind. And if they are blind, you gotta come and pick them up off the street because I know they knock themselves out. 911. We need you, 911. God, my 911 looks different there. There. So I'm not gonna, I got a reigning authority in me. I got a reigning authority with me because of police may be the authority of the earth, but they are not the king of it. Uh, the Bible says earth is the Lord's 20, Psalm 20, uh, 24, right? Let's uh, check me, right? Psalm 24, verse 1. I believe, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the world, and they that dwell therein. Uh, so we're gonna, whether they follow the Holy Spirit or not, uh, they're still living in the world. Like, I'm living on the earth, they're living in the world. Do you see why, why we have a, a different authority? I obey somebody different than they do. I'm on the earth, in the earth. They are living in the world. There will be a new heaven and new earth, but they ain't going to be a new world. Do you get that right? So when, a, when there's a change that happens, I will still come out of the, have my reigning kingdom and ship, rulership right to here with me. I'm going to live on earth, you see. It's going to be a better version of this. I'm going to be the Eden of this. It's going to be the Eden of this. And you will go and live in the world. You know where you're going to be. Hallelujah. And so we thank you, God, for the understanding that we should not get upset when neighbors act stupid. We should pity. Mama, pity. What was me that you are that dumb? I'm giving word. This world needs word. You can't do it. You anoint it. Okay, sit your tail down and shut up. That's the answer for it. You can't do it. Hallelujah. How much time have you spent with God this week? I bet you it was more than me. Because I'm a sinner saved by grace, right? So anointing her, but can I hit me, right about her? I am blessed to have it. It was not free. So the anointing is free to get, but it's not free to keep. And so just because I got the anointing to do this, don't be jealous of me. Don't be jealous. Find your gifting and walk in that. Find your gifting and give yourself fully to that. I'll tell y'all, me, I say don't be jealous because I'm very jealous. Right? I say it all the way out. Y'all, I, know I don't like the way I say it either. I, I'm, you, I am jealous, right? We were in church and we were singing Build My Life, right? Y'all know, holy. Oh, there is no one like you. Hey God, nobody get a high. There is none beside you. Oh, open up my eyes and wonder. Do y'all know I have to grit my teeth when I sing certain songs? Cause I feel like the Holy Spirit is about to bust through the front of my mouth like a powder keg. Bam! Show me who you are and fill me. With your heart, high guy, and lead me in your love to those around me. Yeah, God, baby, look at I. Here we go. I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation, and I will put my trust in you. Alone, and I will, I will not be shaken. Yes, God, be the of my eye. Oh God, be the hand of high. I will not be shaken by. Oh God, I her rogue enemies. Uh, shaken by neighborly uh, fake ease. Oh God, uh, drop ease of the wordies. Uh, I will never be shaken. Be the high, be the high. Hallelujah. I will not. Be shaken, not at I work out the, my soul salvation or feel and trembling. I won't tremble when you are around, you know. You don't scare me. I will not be shaken. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. Not be shaken. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. Not be shaken. Let me stop to say, sue me for changing their song. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. 
not be shaken. You can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake. You will never be able to uh, beat that part in me down. Because that was developed through, through, through the beat down the Lord was giving me. So that I come out of that, no matter what I'm going through, as a matter of fact, when I start to go through things, uh, this is where I come. I go first to my knees, but I go down so that he that is up. Uh, he said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So I go down and lift him up so that he could draw me up. And I stand up and I, you can't shake me, 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 you can't shake me. Not be shaken. Hallelujah. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe with me. The body of Christ, I feel like the lungs of the body of Christ are suffering. God just told me, he said, Numa. We are restricting our authority. He said, you're supposed to let your authority be free. He wants to rule, rest, rule, and abide in the churches and be free. The next time you're at church, and I will do it too. I'll be doing stuff and people don't even know it. Before you go inside the church, just tap the the door handle, the outside of it, and say, freedom. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. You can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake me. Not be shaken. God just said, He said, if your households are locked up, you want the Holy Spirit to rest from the body of your house, He's the reigning authority, right? So if your households are locked up, He said, touch your front door and say, Freedom, 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 Keep us in the note right there, God. Look up, but I keep us in the note right there. Oh, God, heaven. You can't shake me. 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 Not be shaken. Hey. Oh, yes, God. For you are holy. God said you are anointed. He who gives you authority anoints you. God is giving you keys. I was going to go somewhere else. God said, as soon as I was about to say something else, God said keys. As soon as I hear his word came out of my mouth. God is giving you keys. So look at that. And so, and so what you are doing is waiting for God to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What I love, what I love, and, and, and also can't stand. <laughs> um, the one thing I'm learning this week is that just because I have that, he's not going to do anything for me. It's not, it's not like that. It's not, it's not that he's not going to do anything for me, but he's not going to coddle me. And so no matter what, yeah, Jamie had a lot of hard life. Yeah, Jamie had a hard with your mother. Yeah, Jamie had this. But as long as I put it on God, as long as I put it on the Holy Spirit, as long as I put it on the back of Jesus, Jesus had the cross on the back. And he carried enough for me for, for us, for you. You could do something too. You know what you could do? You can't shake me. You can't shake me. You can't shake me. You can't shake me. Oh, God said, choose peace over your peace. That was a message for me too. Don't worry. I'm bipolar. They will not let me have a gun. And this is why. Because there are times when they're looking at that. I get mad enough. I get mad enough that they assume that I will choose a peace. A peace. A peace. A peace. Over my P-E-A-C-E. Who, he who has a, a peace with uh, that surpasses all of my understanding. Philippians 4.8. Right? We are choosing peace. P-I-E-C-E. You are only getting a portion of peace of it. Right? If you choose a P-I-E-C-E. That's natural peace. A natural peace. Then you will not get P-E-A-C-E. It will lead you into destruction, but the choice is yours. Just like my dad, right? He ain't gonna make the choice for me, but he will set before me. God said, I set before you life and death. Choose ye this day. An issue that I got sometimes with it, even with God, is that God I chose it, but I don't wanna do it, right? Because I don't wanna I don't wanna risk hearing no. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. He does shake me a little bit. <laughs> he does. If he didn't know he, he couldn't be dead, could he? You can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake me, you can't shake me. You know, there's something out that, 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 um, the swift hands around your hips. <laughs> I can't do it though. My hips keep bumping each other. Cause you ain't supposed to be dancing like that, Jamie. Doing the little kids' dances. You ain't no teeny bopper. You can't shake me, you can't shake me. But it fit with the beat. 
not be shaken and holy God said change the beat if it doesn't if you can't dance to it change the beat but I, I there is no one change the key if the key doesn't work in the door then you go and get new keys or get the lock changed right have the locksmith come down God said on the locksmith I will change the lock on the door because Jesus is the door and the door knock of me is not the key so he cannot open the door for you you have to be the one to open the door but you got the keys Matthew 16 16 to 23 said he gives us keys Keys to the kingdom, and so you've been already given them, right? And since you've been given them, he says you got, he got what you got, he got, he's given you, he's you got, he's got, you got, you got what you need. You are holy. Some of y'all need a locksmith. Because Jesus stand at the door, and you cannot get into it. Two of two things have happened. You have lost the authority to be inside of that apartment. See where the Holy Spirit come in. So I got to anoint your doors. Watch you walk. So I told Ms. Carol that two years ago. When she had just had no COVID a year ago. I said, watch you walk through your doors. Watch you touches your windows. Watch you touches your knobs. I'm not playing. I'm just going up there and lick, lick it and slick it and anoint the door while they stand in there. What I am saying is, it's about how, be careful if you don't know the person. Because you got everybody visiting you. And she's got fans. Everybody was visiting her. She had somebody there like on the hour, every hour. I feel sorry for Katie. <laughs> Because you're popular in the world, in the earth. <laughs> God said you can use the author- lose the authority to use the authority in the place where you are living. Who are your kids talking to? I anoint their ears. I see young men anoint their ears. This going to sound really weird. Remember how Aaron's beard dripped the oil, right? The beard would drip the oil. God said, girls, I won't even go into it. God said, anoint your boys' ears. You got boys? Anoint their ears. And I'll leave it at that. Holy. Oh, there is no one like you. We worship you, God. And we thank you for the word that says, God, but I did high, high. We look a bit high, high. We use the authority that we have. God said just now, He said, He said, Jude 20, Jamie, tell the people, if you are afraid of tongues, you are flying. Let's see. What I heard was stupid, but that may be my version of it, right? What I see is a person in a plane sitting in a co pilot seat where there's no pilot. And nobody else on the plane. But you up I was like thousands of feet in the air. And you're just sitting there. God said you've been giving keys to the kingdom. And why did Peter get keys to the kingdom? He said that Jesus said a flesh and blood has not revealed it to you. But my father which is in heaven. Follow me because I don't have the Bible in front of me. He said, he said and I will give you keys. I believe the keys to the kingdom was the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit had not come yet. It wouldn't come until Acts chapter 2. It wouldn't come to stay and reside within them. Jesus said, and I will give you the keys. But remember when Jesus left here, he said the comforter cannot come until I leave here. So when Jesus left here, he sent the comforter, right? So he gave us the comforter. He sent the comforter to us. Therefore, the comforter is the keys, right? Holy. There is no one like you. There is none be manadani at a high ouch sign you. Ho 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 pick it at a high. That was my foot to mitigate a high. Open up my eyes in wonder and I need I need I need my dad, right? This is why I was jealous. I didn't get the point to get to tell y'all why I was jealous. Right? Jealous. I like to say it like that. This one that long ate the word. I was jealous. People suffer, people think that they are less of it when they confess in it, right? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I told her. You say it fast, you don't get away from it with it. You know, I was still jealous. I was jealous. I was jealous. I was jelly. You know, I was jealous. Because literally my pastor was standing five seats from me. It don't matter where he's standing, right? He's standing five seats from me. And this is my dad, y'all. And he's standing there and I can hear him. His voice is fantastic. It's beautiful. It sounds like a bell. It sounds like he's singing opera. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, I want that. Why can't I have that? I was coveting, y'all. <laughs> Oh, when I had a high, eh, coveting, right? 
Because we're singing, but nobody knows it but that. We were singing my favorite song on Sunday. You want to know my favorite song? I will build my life upon your love. It is a firm foundation. And I will put my trust in you alone. And that's how I sing it. And when I say now with my trust, I stand on my toes. And I, come, I just realized I did it again. I do it in church too. I said, I can't say it too high. My toes are going to be in a boot. And boots don't lie for toes. They, they don't like that. So, <laughs> boots don't like that. So, I don't do that particularly, right? But I'm not going to tell you But I toes it here. I got a got kind of sometimes. And then I like it high. Because I can't sing like my dad. Remember? And I can, definitely can't sing like David Lewis. I don't even talk about him no more. His range, come on. Ridiculous. Let's just talk about it for a second. Ridiculous. Whatever. I can't even cover it no more. This range is like all over. How you look? Mm-mm. Sometimes I look and I ask God sometimes, God, you really, you, okay, so you gave me a gift that says I could do art sometimes. But you gave them two gifts where they could sing like Pastor Tim sing like, come on. <laughs> I like, did I get skipped in the line? They all sing like they should have CDs. I said, like, my dad could sing. I want to start sliding over towards him. I wonder if he'll give me uh, singing lessons. <laughs> no. I wouldn't even put him through that. <laughs> I, I'm the only one in my family that can't sing. Carl, actually, I told y'all, Samantha and Tasha, um, they both sing soprano, but they can sing. My mother um, could sing. She sings tenor. Beautiful voice. Carl actually got a scholarship in the North, North Boys Chorus and went to school there. Mm-hmm. So they went to Japan and they went to different places singing, right, while he was going there, right? So Carl had a scholarship to sing. Carl could sing. My little brother can sing. What happened to Jamie? Come on, da, 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 da. Have y'all ever been in that situation you felt like? What happened to me? I'm mediocre at everything. What happened to me? Did you forget about me? Wait, here we go. See me. Remember that? Hallelujah. See me. See me. How did it get in the high? Thank you, Jesus. See me. See me. Hallelujah. But the funny thing is, I'm the only one that worships like this in my family. My, my old family. I don't see them as family anymore. I got his dad now. I don't see them as family anymore. As a matter of fact, the funny thing is, we're not related. He looks, I look at him, I'm like, oh, that's my dad. We're not related. But we're connected by the blood. We're not related, but I'm connected to him by the blood. There's a flood of connection, right? I love that man, right? I love that I will do anything for him, and I will do everything to anybody that lays a finger on him. If you think about putting a finger on him, you will have a problem. I will do anything for him, but I will kill you. I will do everything to you. You two can quote me and Marcus Zuckerberg's too. I don't play that. Him and his wife. Because I look at both of them and I see family, right? And the first person, the first person that I told, I'm, I'm dad mad at you, I'm dad mad at you. And I said, while I was mad, I expected him to drop me, drop me, get rid of me, like Lois did, and spit in my face like Lois did, and beat me like Lois did. Except what he did was he seemed to, he didn't coddle me, but he catered to me. God said, I'm preparing a table before you in the presence of your enemies, right? But I'm asking God this week, I said, prepare a table before me in the presence of your enemies, God. Because of the your enemies, they're mine. Prepare a table before me in the presence of my dad's enemies. Because I'm waiting for a moment in time. Because I'm holding my peace now. But you said that in judgment, I'm going to contend some tongues. So I'm going to leave my peace in my pocket. Give me, bring me to the table before my dad's enemies uh, give me a menu because if I can't carry a piece to the table I'm going to beat every single one of them with it uh, with the menu but, uh, you got menu items uh, you got problems uh, you got suffering uh, we all do it we bring it to the clergy of the household of faith uh, and when they don't fix it the way that we think it should be fixed the way we assign them to do it we claim like, uh, you're my pastor like you put them on assignment they don't work for you 
don't sit your tail down and get some meat on your bones because then you'll understand why they did it the way that they did. They are working not for your story, but for God's glory. Sit your tail at the table and eat something. I looked again at the story where the sheep was lowered before Peter. I talked about it, I think, two weeks ago. And I was like, ew, who was on that sheet? Because in the picture Bible, they show everything. And I wanted at that time to close the picture Bible and never to see the picture of that again. There's some pictures that you want to put away and not even have a picture of lemonade, not a picture of Kool-Aid with a picture sitting next to you. I'm a sword, I'm going to gag and vomit. I'm going to gag and vomit. I'm gagging and vomiting. At the same time, I don't want to see that on a sheet. That's what the angels clean that sheet, Jesus. That's a crazy question to ask, right? But I had to look at it. I said, because if they don't clean the sheet, right, can I have a pass on eating off of it? Give me a reason to whip out my peace on you. Give me a reason. I will bury you. I'm from the ghetto. I'm not just to be honest with you. R.I.P. You will rest in peace. Why? Because I'm not trying to whip out my peace. I-E-C-E on you. I don't have one. But what I'm trying to whip out on you, whip out on you, it's P-E-A-C-E. Give me a reason to whip them out on you. Oh, give me a reason. Because Nisi can do much worse to you than I can. Sometimes Nisi is sitting there waiting. He's like, can I get Can I get a tag in? It's like a wrestling match. Can I get a tag in? It's like it was never supposed to be tag team. Sometimes I like just to step aside, right, and just pray. and watch Nisi take care of it. Hallelujah. Because I find that I walk outside of the P-E-A-C-E of my mind when I take you, your face and you with your face nest and give you a piece of my mind. You're the one that messed up. And this is a piece of my mind. This is my mind, right? See, think about it. Two whole circles. Those are mine, right? And why would I give you a piece of what I got? P-I-E-C-E. We both got almost the same amount. You just a little bit less. But why would I give you a P-I-E-C-E of what I got? I don't want to give you a P-I-E-C-E of my mind. You don't deserve it, right? You're the one messed up. Hallelujah. So I'm going to take a piece of what I got and give it to you. That's a reward for you. No, I'm not giving you nothing. You need to sit your tail down at the table and eat uh, something. Uh, hallelujah. God is preparing the table before me. But uh, when I saw preparing the table, I saw him at my stove cooking. I know he knew I was there. He didn't pay me no mind. I was doing my blog and he was at the, he was at the store cooking. So I was doing my blog one day. I went to the kitchen. I told y'all. I saw it. Jesus was standing outside of the door. Holy Spirit was inside of it. I got scripture back up for all of it. And then God was standing if he's preparing the table and the table is that close. He doesn't need any servers uh, to bring the food before us, right? So he wants to worship close with us because he said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and the truth, right? So he wants to worship closely with us uh, and serving, right, is a form of worship. So instead of, uh, right, him uh, cooking the food and give it to somebody to carry it, so we don't know what, what they were doing with their hands, whether they washed them, whether they licked them fingers.